Right, let's go and pick up the impounded vehicle. Impounded, of course, through no fault of our own. I think the police made a real mistake there. But then again, the police and the media have always had an uneasy relationship. Yeah, I think, honestly, though, the police is nothing compared to those ambulance drivers. They're unbelievable! I got run over- have you been run over uh, by an ambulance driver in the line of your normal day-to-day -day job? If so, why not write in? Write in? Call in? This is a radio oh, show, isn't it's, it? Yeah, let's call in. Call in. Uh, can we go over to line one, please? Hello, caller. You're through uh, to uh, uh, non-weasel um, radio. Am I on the air? Uh, 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 yes, sir. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. You're, you're, you're live. Hello? Am I on the air? Hello? Yes, we, we can hear you. Uh, are you... Uh... Hello? Hello? Okay, I got a level with you, man. That was just me doing a different voice. Oh. No one called in. What? I just didn't have the heart to tell you. Uh, what? I'm, I'm sorry, but I feel like you need to know the truth. We don't, we don't even have a phone. Oh, we need to get the van back. Once we got the van back, we could do a proper, a proper, uh, a proper yeah. call in. That's that, it. That's the that'll problem. That'll do it. Help. I do have a question there for you, Mr. Co-host. Uh, yes. The stereo we heard earlier, did you tear it out? Uh, I, I was quite angry, I have to admit. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I understand. I too get angry at the idea of stereo sound. Uh, uh, that's why we broadcast in nothing but 100% mono. <laughs> yeah. Don't strain your ears. 100% mono near you. Yeah. You just can't tell where. 100% mono on 101 FM. Check engine lights have been responsible for 85% of all roadside crashes. Yeah, you just... That in, infernal beacon in your dashboard distracting you while you drive. And I don't know, I don't know how much of this is coincidence, but whenever that light goes on, all of a sudden you have engine problems. Can you believe it? Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of the uh, manufacturer's ways of getting you to pay up more. That's what we're yeah. doing. Not Weasel yeah, News. We're, ta we're exposing out industry secrets. <laughs> exposing massive corporations on a global scale. Make sure your no, children aren't listening. Uh, you may, that's, no, no, that's sponsoring. What? We're, we're not exposing the global corporations. We're giving us money so we talk about them. Oh, so uh, th I'm those are the completely messed this up. The, the friendly, uh, helpful, uh, uh, national, global. Yeah. Uh, uh, Remember, buy a check engine light in a store near you. The Check Engine Light Corporation for engine light checking all over America. I think I saved it there. Uh, well done. We were almost in a lot of legal difficulty. I, I do have to admit, you are the professional reporter on the team. I'm just the one with the money. Yeah. I mean, I did write the Antarctic Bugle for two and a half days running, so... The Antarctic Bugle? That for is the qualification you... you hired me on, correct? For those of you who don't know, the Antarctic Bugle is uh, a magazine that's always had quite a cold reception, but in the industry yeah. is respected very highly. Uh, g give us some of the uh, examples of the articles you wrote. Um, there was, of course, an in-depth investigation into the difficult, difficult topic of penguin gambling, where people would fly in from all over the world to participate in poker tournaments, and instead of betting money, they would bet large quantities of penguins. Really? And, I mean, someone had to blow the lid on this situation, and that person was indeed me. Sadly, I never got to finish that article, because I was there for two and a half days. I got a cold, and I had to leave. But I like to think that I really made a difference in most penguins' lives. I really think you might have done, you know. And, and that's what we're here to do, ladies today. and gentlemen. We are here to make a difference to your lives. I better uh, make sure that we don't lose this vehicle. I'm insuring it, because we do everything above board here at uh, Komodo Calamities. Oh, uh, Corporation. Komodo Corporation. <clears throat> Not a calamity. Can't help feeling that uh, paperwork doesn't say Komodo Corporation on it. Uh, I prefer not to look at the paperwork. Uh, I forget what it's called this week. We are the free press. We're free to do whatever we want. <laughs> Please do not call the police. Uh, why? Look! Look at this guy! Look at this jo- <gasps> Oh, that's it. Excuse me. I'm gonna have a stern talking to that man. Hang on a minute. Get over here. Uh, can we exchange insurance details, please, it's sir? It's these ignorant builder types. 
Hang on a minute. Casually leaning out of a window. He does not look like Why a builder. Why are you wearing designer <laughs> yeah. glasses, what sir? What the hell? You don't look like a construction <laughs> worker. Get, hang on, pull him out. Those hipster <laughs> construction workers, aren't you? Get out. Look, uh, he, you, I can do your job better than you. You are not fit to be a construction worker. You look too posh. Get down. That's it. I'm 87 like years old, me? you know. I don't even have a license. I mean, I don't know what job, <laughs> what construction site paid for this cement, but I know where we're taking it. There's some bodies I have to bury in my backyard. <laughs> Of course, he's uh, just joking there, folks, so please do not call the police. Okay, well, we will go back later when we're not broadcasting to make sure we bury all those bodies for you. <laughs> Figure of speech, of course. Oh, obviously. No need to search my home. And now we're back on the road. Luckily. People go missing all the time. <laughs> and we're almost never responsible, statistically speaking. You're listening to Komodo's Calamity, a co-operation. I think we should just call it the Bollocks Hour. <laughs> the Bollocks Hour. <laughs> well, you join us now, ladies and gentlemen, in the middle of a high-speed car chase. We're not sure who the police are after at the moment, but there seems to be a hell of a lot of them. And they seem to be leading us towards this old deserted railway. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid news have just gotten to me, Komodo, that the police have mistaken a group of reporters for wanted criminals, and they're on the chase right now. I hope we can make it to the story in time. Unbelievable. Hang, hang on, I, I, I've just heard, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they're actually hunting for them in an old weasel news van that's been repainted so it just says news. Uh, you're, you're joining us now uh, in the yeah. middle of that high-speed uh, police chase, which we have found we are the target yeah. of, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Uh, there, there are bullets literally flying past yeah. our ears. To be honest, I'm... I'm quite astonished at how well uh, I'm managing to escape the police. It, it's a testament to my skills at the wheel. Ah! We've been pushed over oh. a cliff! Over a cliff! We don't want to end this new segment on a cliffhanger, so we shall continue driving. Well, actually, we seem to be escaping quite well, so I think it's time, uh, now we're back in the news van, to start yep. our chat show. And the chat show subject we're going to give you today, ladies and gentlemen, is... Uh, have you ever been involved in in a, in a high-speed car chase? Yeah, I mean, this is this is a topic dear to my heart, but really, I want to hear what members of the public have to say about the topic of high-speed car chases. So, I'm going to take our first caller right now. Hello, you're on the line. Uh, 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 hello. Uh, uh, is it coming through? Uh, am I on? Yeah, yeah, you're on live. Hello, Mr. Oh. Caller. What would you uh, like to tell us about the topic of high-speed car chases? Uh, well, I, I've been I've been involved in a few every time, you know, uh, partially due to uh, the job. Oh, the, the, oh the jobs. God, the inhumanity! Uh, Bullets are flying. Do do continue. The the, the jobs that have been uh, performed by me and my gang. Well, I don't call it a gang. The police call it that, but it, you know, it is a gang, really. But we, we can split some yeah. things. Anyway. So are you trying several to say times. that you have been wrongly accused of gang-related activity just because you're a member of the gang? Uh, that's that's absolutely correct. Yes. I mean, I, I, all I've done, I've stolen from a few, uh, stolen from a few uh, banks and uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, I, I think and, and I've I, been... I think I understand your story. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you've committed a couple of crimes, and all of a sudden the police thinks you're a criminal. It's a story uh, I've heard a lot. Absolutely, they, they, they put they put me on record uh, uh, yeah. as if I was actually, you know, to blame. When, when oh. uh, uh, and to, to cap it all, I, I got whiplash during one of the high speed car chases, uh, and I got no compensation, not even an no apology from the driver. Not a penny. No, nothing at all. Nothing. Oh, you heard it here. Uh, I mean, obviously. I, I got away with two million from from the bank job, so so that was some compensation, but it wasn't official compensation fr from the force, and that's no, what I was looking course. for. I mean, that's that's your salary. You can't you can't expect that injuries have to be paid from that money, especially if those injuries are not your fault. But that is a completely different topic. That will be what? our segment later on with injury I, I'm lawyer sorry. Dave Willis. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to go now, uh, uh, Gary. 
Um, there, there, there's actually a police turning up at, at the door. I don't, I don't know how they've found out where I am. Uh, but but uh, I, oh, yeah, I'm gonna um, have to leave. I'm, I'm, I am. I'm terribly sorry about that. I should have said at the start. All calls are recorded and monitored for quality control purposes. So we probably traced you. You, you, That's all you the time fucking we have what? For you. You, Bye. you what? Can I just say uh, thank you very much for, uh, for, for for talking to the public for me? I, I'm not a big fan. I, I don't like yeah, I mean, hobnobbing. I I just the the story of mistreatment on the hands of police forces. It it brought a tear to my eye. I found it very relatable. Having just had to shoot five or more police officers just in the last few minutes while I was talking. I'll be honest with you. Um, something we do have to highlight at this point to the ladies and gentlemen who are listening. Oh. The inefficiencies yeah. of the Los Santos Police Department. <laughs> because yeah. they have been pouring resources into trying to capture us. And so far we have eluded them. Yeah, I, I think we should send investigative reporters undercover to really investigate how much money has been wasted on capturing these maverick reporters but have killed so many Los Santos police officers. Surely there is a better way. And that is the next topic for our callers in. Waste of taxpayer money. I'm sure you guys at home have a lot of stories about this, and I'm excited to hear them, so please call in, the lines are open, right now, I'm waiting for a call alert, just call in before it's too late, we can't host this show from jail anymore, they stopped us doing that the last time, so please uh, call in, uh, hello? hello? Am I through yep, to the radio? Yep, yep you are oh. on the radio, madam. Well, um... You see, I was actually in charge for quite a while of, of, uh, 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 of the budget of a local council, and uh, 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 and oh. so I, I'm quite I'm quite well versed in wasting taxpayers' money. Is that so? So, would you consider yourself a professional expert on the subject? Um, well, I was never paid enough to be a professional, no. But I, I'm an enthusiastic amateur, yes. An enthusiastic amateur. I'm glad we can get such. An opinion on the topic. What would you like to share with us this evening? Well, um, the last. Oh, I'm, the last I'm sorry. Time. I'm going to have to interrupt you for a second. With what? an update on those Maverick reporters, the FBI has just gotten involved. This is now across state bounds. This is not just Los Santos money being wasted. It's America's money being wasted. And back to the caller. I'm sorry for that interruption. You must understand what? the news comes first. Well, Please well, continue. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually a bit upset about it all, and, and uh, well, well the sucks to be you. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, well, dead. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I appear to be by myself in the van. Uh, I don't know what happened to Joe there. I always go into sort of comatose state when the phones ring because the people who ring it are so fucking boring. But uh, unfortunately, <coughs> it, it looks like I've I'm, I'm alive. lost. I'm alive. What? Hang on, hang on. We we have oh. a caller, and it looks like it's my old partner Joe, uh, not Hello? in that way. Uh, <laughs> who, <laughs> no, yeah, we we dissolved all that entire marriage. Oh, I've, I've dragged myself out of a river. I'm at the docks. I'm at the docks. Uh, Can you pick well, me up? I, 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 I'm I'm afraid the the van is quite damaged, and I'm actually in quite a lot of pain. I've been shot. Oh no. <laughs> You want me to call an ambulance? I think we, we're a bit harsher on the police, let's be honest here.